Tesla just dropped a bombshell on the home storage market, recalling over 10,000 Powerwall 2 batteries. Does this mean home batteries are unsafe and are more recalls to come? We're gonna be talking all about that in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about the recent announcement that Tesla is recalling over 10,000 of their Powerwall 2 home batteries. Now, just yesterday, Solar Power World reported that Tesla has received over 22 reports of malfunctioning and overheating Powerwall 2 home batteries. Of these, six reported smoke coming out of the battery and five reported fire coming out of the battery, causing minor property damage. According to the report, the lithium battery cells in certain Powerwall 2 systems stop functioning during normal use, resulting in overheating and thermal runaway. Now, what is thermal runaway? Thermal runaway is a very technical way of saying that the battery overheats or one of the battery cells overheats and catches on fire, and the heat from that fire is enough to to cause the next battery cell to ignite and then the next one. And basically it's a chain reaction that results in what looks like an explosion, which of course could burn the house down. Obviously this is not what you want uh, if you have a home battery system. Now this is not uncommon to what happened to LG a few years ago. Uh, LG ultimately had to recall both their first and second generation, what they call the Resu home battery because of a similar issue of battery cells overheating and in some cases catching on fire. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Okay, so obviously this thermal runaway is a problem and of course it's something that you want to avoid as a homeowner. And that brings us back to the discussion of which is the best battery chemistry for home use. Now, the two most popular lithium-based battery chemistries are lithium NMC, nickel manganese cobalt, which is what was used in these Powerwall 2 batteries. Uh, of course, the newer, more popular now uh, chemistry is the lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. Now, there are some pros and cons of each, but the lithium NMC chemistry caught on because of its greater energy density. You know, you, can, you could store more energy in a, a physically less volume of space. And it also allowed for more easily rapid charging and discharging, which is particularly important, particularly in electric vehicles, where you need to accelerate that vehicle quickly requires a rapid discharge of the battery. Uh, also, of course, if you wanna quickly be able to recharge your electric vehicle while you're on the road, the NMC chemistry was better for this. However, the issue was, of course, this potential for thermal runaway. Again, the potential that one battery cell can catch on fire and then that would cause the next to catch on fire, causing this chain reaction, almost like an explosion where the whole thing goes up in smoke. Now, the lithium iron phosphate chemistry is not as prone to thermal runaway. You know, the battery still has to be kept at a healthy operating range, but with the LFP chemistry, the risks are much lower that you'll have this thermal runaway. Now, of course, the trade-off that you have to pay is that the batteries are larger in volume and they are heavier batteries. I mean, there's, there's iron in the compound uh, that is the main electrolyte for this battery. So they are bulkier, heavier batteries. But for home use, usually that's not an issue because you're not driving that battery around on your vehicle. Typically, it's just hanging on your wall in the garage. So if the battery has to be slightly larger in volume, that's generally not a problem. Uh, also, the LFP chemistry-based batteries tend to be less expensive. Of course, I'm sure now that Tesla has announced this recall, there's gonna be a reignited discussion on NMC versus LFP, and if NMC is safe at all for in-the-home use. Now, in total, about 10,500 batteries have been recalled and are going to be replaced at no cost to the homeowner. Uh, in fact, Tesla has already remotely deactivated those batteries and, and drained them down. So be sure to check the Tesla app uh, to see what the status of your battery is and if yours may have been part of this recall. According to the report, these batteries came out of Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. You know, another question that I have too for all you solar installers out there who likely will be involved in doing the recall and decommissioning the defective batteries and replacing them is what reimbursement for labor is Tesla gonna be providing to its installers? So if you're a homeowner, if you have a Tesla Powerwall 2 battery, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear if you've received a recall notice 
Also, if you're an installer out there who's been contacted by Tesla about doing the replacement service, uh, please leave a comment below as well. We'd like to hear from you uh, if Tesla's offering any kind of incentive or compensation for the contractor, what exactly that's going to be. So this has been a quick news update on Tesla's recall of over 10,000 Powerwall 2 batteries. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the, the reports that we have on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Of course, if you're in the process of shopping for home batteries or home solar systems, if you need to get a price quote, uh, also, if you, are have, you already have an existing solar system and you need service to get the system back online, very soon we're going to have a solution for you too. But as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can talk to one of our experts or you can just use the free online calculator to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.